It wasn't just Britpop that was born out of the 90s. In Bristol, something even more groundbreaking was getting underway. Kevin Doala has been to find out more. Back in the 90s, a public health study began that would shape the lives of generations to come. The children of the 90s recruited around 80% of pregnant women in the Bristol area to take part. Since then, the project has tracked the health and development of over 14,000 babies born between the years of 1991 and 1992, and they followed them right from birth into adulthood. The project has given insight into many aspects of health and well-being. With around 20,000 active participants, it's one of the world's most detailed studies. And here in Bristol, it's a source of civic pride. Nearly everyone I know in school was part of it. The thing that's so great about it is that it evolves, you know, as, the, as everyone's growing up. Kate and Amanda signed up their daughters, Sophie and Vanessa, when they were born in 1992. Part of my studying was children's development through physical, mental and social well-being. And when I was given the opportunity to add to research, I just thought, well, it's a no-brainer, really. Can you remember some of the tests that, that you had to do? Or... I remember a memory test, memory test. Um, a standing up, sitting down yeah, test. Stand, yeah, standing on one leg. They did a full body scan to tell you what your health was like at that, that point in your life. For Kate and Amanda's daughters, Sophie and Vanessa, who are both now pregnant. The study has been a defining part of their lives, with annual testing on everything from blood to nail clippings. I definitely remember having a day off school. Um, of course, you're going to remember that. Yeah, <laughs> who doesn't? Best part. I feel like it was always like a happy vibe, and it was like you were never pressured into doing anything. The research has, among other things, informed our understanding of allergies, asthma, and also mental health. It's influenced national campaigns, including safe sleep guidelines for babies, believed to have saved tens of thousands of lives. It's gone all over the world, you know. It's made such a big, big difference. Remarkably, the study is still ongoing, with Sophie and Vanessa still regularly being tested. Professor Nick Timpson from the University of Bristol is the study's current principal investigator. Is the one thing that sticks out in your mind that's made you think, wow, we're really changing lives here. Yeah, well, there's one story that's come up pretty recently as we've studied our participants through from ages of about 15 through to 24 and now 30, which is the measurement of their liver health. Now, what's alarming is that there's been a progression in the frequency of poorly livers over time. The liver's regenerative and you can do something about it. And we're working really closely now with clinicians in Bristol and elsewhere to try and work out what the best policies are for addressing that problem. The study's results showing liver decline in younger people have helped underpin NHS action, including a community screening programme set up in the southwest region. 40-year-old Sam says he owes his health, in part, to the children of the 90s research after being offered a liver scan by the team that was helping him manage his type 2 diabetes. I then discovered I had liver disease. So with that information, I've then been able to make lifestyle changes. I've lost eight stone. I fully reversed the, uh, the liver disease, which is it's life changing. I'd add life saving to that, well, Sam. Yeah, no, definitely life saving. Yeah. Today, I'm bringing Sam to meet Sophie and Vanessa to express his thanks for taking part in the study. I'd just like to say thank you, because um, without you taking part in that study, um, I wouldn't have been able to have the screening that I've had. It has been life saving. Absolutely made my day. It's amazing to hear. The whole point of it was to help people and then when you see them it sort of chokes you up a little bit. Carry on doing it. Like you said, it's more worth it now. Like we can see the end result. What is that saying? With little acorns, mighty oak trees grow. Well, that's exactly what's happening here because a little Bristol study has become this global beacon of health research. And just a few weeks later, it looks like the next generation are ready to show us what the future of our health will be like. Hi everyone, our beautiful daughter Mabel has arrived safe and sound and she's already signed up for Children of Children of the 90s so she'll be contributing to research and helping other people too.